Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is February 3rd, to Thursday. I'm out here on the farm milking cows. It's like negative five out right now here in Minnesota. And um, my boss is out mixing feed up because we're gonna have another cold snap here. And we usually mix feed in the morning here on the farm, but we've been doing it at night and stockpiling loads outside because when it gets this cold, the corn silage and the haylage out there freeze in the bag and it's super hard to break up. So we like to get the batches mixed up. And then once we run out uh, with the TMR mixer, we just load another batch in there and we're good to go. So he's out doing that. I'm milking right now. And with it being this cold tonight, we are not post-tipping cows. I am post-tipping a couple cows that will be staying in just to help keep the barn warm. But we're not post-tipping the rest that are going outside because when it gets this cold, this post-tip can freeze on the cow's teats. We don't want that. They can get chapped teats from that. Very uncomfortable for them. Overall, just a big pain in the ass. So um, once I get done here, I'll show you what we do. We call it powder dipping, which it's just a powder. I don't know what's in it, to be honest. But it, it's not as effective as the liquid post dip, but uh, it does, it helps with what it needs to do. So after a cow is done being milked, their teat is called a sphincter, I believe is the technical term. And that stays open after you milk a cow for a period of time. And the reasons for post dipping is once the cow goes outside and lays down, the post dip helps and prevents bacteria from going up in there while that sphincter is open, prevents bacteria, mastitis, and all that other fun stuff that we don't want. Um, powder dipping, it, it works just as well as post dipping. It just, it's hard to get it stuck on there. Like I said, it's a powder, I'll show you later. And this is a liquid and it's goopy. It really stays on there good. Um, so yeah, we'll get these cows milked and I really just wanted to make a video, a current video, because obviously you've seen on my channel that I had combining and baling hay like just in the last month and it's February now. So I just wanted to make a current video here and show you what's been going on in my life because there's been a lot of big changes. So I'll talk about that a little later. So as you can see, I did not post dip her, but I did her. So this is gonna be one of the cows that stand. Up above the cows, we have these name tags, and uh, they tell you if we post her powder, post dip Ira, she stays in for the night. And then 1313 gets powder, she gets to go outside. And like I said, that way, one, it's not as many cows we need to put in in the morning, and two, it helps keep the barn that much warmer. Every one of these cows is like a giant furnace, essentially. So as soon as about a mm, little more than half these cows go out tonight, you can really feel the temperature change. You can hear the fans going in the background. Uh, those will shut off as soon as the cows go out because there is a big temperature change. Here. It's okay, some people have them. Makes them that much more special. So one of the most common questions I get on YouTube, I get a comment at least once a week asking if I'm still milking cows. Well, hopefully this clears it up. Um, yeah, I'm still milking cows. I guess I should say that I'm only milking at this farm now. I remember saying, uh, a while back that I was milking at two different farms. I am solely at this farm here now. Um, I milked over there last summer. I was milking five nights a week between this farm and that one, and that took up a lot of my free time. Didn't really like that, so I ended up quitting there at the beginning of this fall. He was a really fun guy to work for, but uh, I do a lot of manual labor, so I like to sit in a seat once in a while and steer a steering wheel, so that's what I ended up doing. But if you guys want to see more of milking and stuff, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. 
uh, Bryce Zag Adventures or my personal account, Bryce Larson 5041 or something. And you'll be a lot more up to date other than the YouTube stuff. It just takes a lot of time to make a video. So go ahead and follow them if you, if you want. I do live streams, I post a lot. So yeah. All right, so now that we got all the cow's milk, I'm gonna go through and powder dip the cows that are going outside tonight. So this is what it looks like. And this is what we use instead of post dip, like I explained earlier. So I'll go down the line. Again, look at all my name tags here. Once I say powder, I'm gonna powder. And then once I'm done with that, we'll start kicking cows out. Like I said, it's just hard. It doesn't stay on there very well. And you wanna make sure you coat the whole teat when you do this, so. That's what it looks like, and that's what I'm going to do to all the cows. All right, so it's about 7 o'clock here now on the farm. Every, all the chores are done. All the cows are outside that are going outside. Everything's washed. They're fed. Now it's time to show you the next big thing that has happened in my life that I'm really excited about. I bought a new pickup. A new old pickup. This is the newest pickup I've ever owned. It's a 97. 7.3 turbo diesel. So we're gonna start her up here, let her warm up. Look at that. Heavy duty, power stroke. This is literally pretty close to my dream truck. It's, it's pretty sweet. And check out this interior. Look at that, custom embroidered seats. The guy I bought it from must've really liked case. Floor mats, steering wheel cover. But obviously I got all my junk in here now, but it is a really clean interior. But let's fire her up so she's warm. Let her glow plug. This thing has been sitting in the cold for four hours. Popped right off. I got a squeaky belt, I know. But I just love that sound. I've owned a 7.3 non-turbo diesel before, but I've never owned an actual power stroke. And I actually bought this last Friday, so almost a week ago. And I've already put about $1,000 on top of what I paid for it in part. So it's already been a money pit. It's just stuff that's, it's just been nickel and diming me to death. But I really like it. The only rust that's on it is on the cab corners here. Clean box. It's completely stock. I cut the muffler off the other day, obviously. It's still not that loud, but I don't want it obnoxious either. But uh, she, she sounds pretty mean. So yeah, I guess you can say I'm pretty stoked to finally own a 7.3 Power Stroke. You should have seen my grin, the grin on my face when I drove it home. It, it was ear to ear, holy home. Um, I am amazed for, she, she's got some miles on her, but for the amount of miles this truck has, it is really clean. And um, I plan on putting some really illegal window tint on it. Uh, so my friend Mitchell gets back from college here and the next couple weekends when he comes home, I'm gonna have him do that up. So if you're in the Brookings area of South Dakota, hit up Mitchell Call. He'll do it for a fair price. Mitchell, I just gave you free advertising. I expect a check in the mail or PayPal, whatever you want to do. But uh, yeah, I am just stoked to own this truck. I am really excited. I just, the amount of women I'm going to be able to pick up in this thing, I just can't even fathom that. That's, I don't know if I'm ready, but uh, let's get home. I need to go to McDonald's first because I'm starving. And then uh, I got one more thing to tell you when I get home. I love how I pull up to the drive through speaker and they ask me to shut my pickup off. That's <laughs> not even loud yet. Oh boy, what do we want today? I think we're gonna go with a 4C and a mellow yellow. Hello, Bedolf, how can I help you? All 
right, so we made it home. Just one more time, guys. Look at this truck. I plan on getting the cab cores fixed, like I said. That is the only visible surface rust on her. Put a different tailgate on it. it it's close. It's not a perfect match, but it's got a line x uh, bed in it. And then there's old beauty, obviously. Still got her. Yep. I love it. All right, so it is now June. It's June 6th, I believe, today. And um, I have I know I need to keep up on these videos, guys. I apologize. Um, I really just got out of the vibe of making videos, and I haven't been motivated. But um, I'm sitting here, and I'm bored, and I just was going through my editing app, and I found this one that wasn't finished. So I'm going to finish it today. So... As you can tell, one of my big announcements was I bought a new pickup. The second thing I was going to say was that I moved out of the house. I moved out um, from my parents' place. Um, so I moved in with my friend Mitchell's older brother. I uh, rented his upstairs out, and um, that was pretty fun. Uh, some of the reasons for me wanting to move out was, one, obviously, I'm 18. You know, I think I'm a big adult, and I can make my own decisions, and sounded really good and then you start paying your own bills and buying groceries and everything and it it really sucks to grow up I'll tell you that um but I don't know I just always wanted to move out I mean I love my parents to death um but I just wanted to be by myself so I moved in with him and I uh, lived with him for the winter and now I moved in with Aiden and we are roommates and we have our own house together now so that's that's been exciting we've been doing that for two months here now um so yeah I mean that's all I guess I was really gonna say at the end of the video um so oh I suppose you want to know what I'm doing right now this is, I guess here's another big announcement so and this is kind of funny because I just said at the beginning of the videos I'm still milking cows well sorry guys but I actually quit milking cows I'm done doing that I'm on every other Sunday I milk cows every other Sunday um, I'm now working at CHS. I got a new job here about a month ago. Yeah, a full-time job. It is a very full-time job. My first week I had over 80 hours. Um, it, it's a lot of work, but I get a decent paycheck and I, I like doing it. Um, I, I applied to be an applicator here, so I'll run on a sprayer, spreader, stuff like that. Um, you need to have an applicator license and able to do any of that. And I haven't had time to study or take a test or anything like that. Um, I, I honestly think I applied at the wrong time right during spring, the busy season. Um, so there's a lot going on. Um, so they've just been having me doing a bunch of little bitch work, I guess you'd call it, you know, you start when someone starts off new, you know, they just go do go do that go do this so that's what I've been doing but I'm working up the ladder here um I'm running a tender truck right now I'm waiting out here in the field they're uh spreading dry fertilizer it's the new job it's pretty fun um I had to get my class b license in order to drive this truck so I just went and got my seasonal class b you just go to the DMV pay like forty dollars gotta have a clean driving record and boom you can drive a big truck this is just a straight truck it's got six bays on it you can put fertilizer in um so yeah this is driving trucks been pretty fun uh, another fun part of the job is working with my cousin Caden he's a fun guy to work with um he makes long days go by a lot quicker uh, I, I know I better go into depth a little bit here on the milking cows part because a lot of people like that like the cows so <coughs> Ooh, excuse me <clears throat> I think I'm starting to get sick that's not good um so i've been milking cows on that farm for seven years ever since i was 12 um so but i i honestly i was just getting burnt out of it i wanted to do something different so i i quit my shop job i was working at too and my weekly milking to come solely here um i was tired of having multiple jobs I just want to have one job. I was tired of the goofy hours of everywhere and having to run all over the place. I just, so that was the main reason. And this is something that I thought I'd be interested in. And so far I like doing it. So, um, yeah, 
but my cows are still there and my heifers um are doing good um i'm just milking every other sunday morning and night um just to give um the people there that milk all the time now because i i worked a lot of hours there and me leaving that really i think it kind of really hurt them because i i milked a lot of hours so they had to pick up all the extra shifts so i'm just gonna give them every other weekend off um that's that's my plan but i guess i should also say one of the things i'm kind of sad upset about this new job is that um for those of you that don't know what chs is it's a it's an ag co-op you know so spreading fertilizer in people's fields and stuff like that like i'm doing today i'm just tending fertilizer but um i'm not able i wasn't able to help dad at all this spring on the farm you know i've been out here working every day and uh, it'll be this way again in the fall um spreading fertilizer um so that's kind of one of the things that I'm kind of sad about i can't really make any videos if i'm here and um yeah so i don't know i'll have to maybe get my brother give him a camera or something so keep you guys updated on our farm and stuff and uh i've been on aiden about i want him to make more videos but i don't know if he's quite up to that but that's just um yeah one more thing i wanted to say i guess so with that being said uh, if you got a question drop it in the comments um uh, I'll, I'll answer it um and i'm gonna edit this and try and get this uploaded today so if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more and thank you guys so much for watching